Good morning and welcome to day five of our Hawaii adventure. Em and I are up early. I know, it's almost over, but not quite. Up early, I'm drinking pog juice. The stuff on the side super funny. And then he's enjoying some vanilla wafers. But I can't not wake up any later than 6.55. I Wait, think that's really? the latest I've woken up. But usually I wake up at 5 or 5.30. Most days I get up at 6.30. But today, Em and I are going over to Zumba. We call it Boomba because that's what she got it when she was a baby. So we've got that at 8 a.m. And then we're going to go swimming before we head off on some other adventures. We're letting everybody else sleep today because they're tired. So, roll, roll with, with us. us. If I had to get stuck in a time loop or a weather loop, I would take it in Hawaii. Every day, the temperature is like the same and it's gorgeous out here like the same, but it, it just feels so good. There's like all different kinds of plants, different animals, it's, it's probably Mongoose, the most, termites, that's not, that's not a lava cats, lava yes. goats. Right now it feels, pretty sure this is in the 70s. It feels amazing. I think it's a little hot, but I'm always Right now hot. you think it's a little hot? I do think it's just a hmm. tiny bit over hot. It's a little hot later, but right now I don't think it's hot. Right now, it's just perfect. Especially I mean, in the place. shade, it feels perfect. In the sun, it makes me feel like just the tiniest, 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 tiniest little bit not perfect. Well, there you go. You see the mountain? Emmy's in the adults only area because it's not open yet, but they just turned on the waterfalls in the main pool, in the super pool. So. It's about to be open. So that's a pool service desk over here with the water and the restrooms that are amazing. Yeah, look. All right, open the door. Look. It's like the climate simulator, right? Yeah. All right, come on. We are going to Boomba over here at the adult pool lawn. I've never been over here before. Nice. That's the ice pool. There is the seat behind the waterfall, but the waterfall kind of hits you in the face. Em. There's like six of us and a teacher, so that's awesome. Unfortunately for her, it was an hour-long class. Eventually, I did go let her play in the pool while I was boom buttoning. It's nine o'clock. Pool's been up in an hour, and it's still, like, empty. I made it through the entire hour-long Zumba class. Emmy made it through, like, 30 minutes, so I'm pretty proud of her, because at home she only Zumba 20 minutes. Then she came over and hung out on the edge of the pool, and now I get to be with her. Yay! So... We zoomed, we swam, we came back, changed, got our stuff together, and now we're driving back over to the Hilo side of the island, or we're about to, drive back over to the Hilo side of the island to go to Volcanoes National Park and Kalmana Cave State Park. Uh, not in that order. That's the plan anyway. Here's the military base. Training area. We stopped at this physics-based playground. Gilbert Kahele. I think I fixed it. I think I'm saying it right this time. Yeah, we stopped it again because it was so fun last time. It's a nice, nice break on the ride over to Hilo for sure. Yeah, and we took a nap, but now she's awake. Definitely bring a sweater here. It was 85 over there when we were swimming. And sorry, I dropped to 69 here. Still got blue skies so far. We finally saw a pull off in time to actually pull off. The Pu O O Ka Umana Trail. That's really pretty. Got this trail. Oh, that's a pretty. That's neat. You could hike and somebody could meet you. You have to wash off your shoes before you go on the trail. Looks magical. <laughs> Look at 
guys. It oh. sounded like an Arctic wind. This is a nifty path, but we're not gonna probably follow the whole thing. Emmy's feeling very adventurous. It's cool enough she actually wants to hike, but this is a six mile hike and we're not doing that. We're back in Hilo, but today it's sunny. So the Kamana Cave State Park, you have to park over here on the side of the road. That's all the parking. And so we're having to sit and wait for somebody to leave. Look at this. It's like something from the movie. It does. A lot of the flora and fauna and landscape really encourages pretend play and fantasy. There is bones. <laughs> Do not leave valuables in your car. So we came from that curvy road and then had to park here. And then it goes to that curvy road. So, so it's kind of a danger to get across the street and to get here. To see more about Kamana Cave State Park, check out the video five unex most unexpectedly awesome things in hawaii it gets a little bumpy right there so hang on a second. It, it gets kind of like tight in some areas and then okay. it opens up and then we stop where the cave like divides into two there's a top mm -hmm. part and the bottom part you can choose which way you baby look here thank you everyone's down there but everyone's leaving so i'm gonna be scared so my dad slipped and fell down and busted the end of his finger. So he and my mom and Emmy went back to wait in the light of day while Timothy and I continued on into the cave. But we have been in a lava tube. I don't know. Oh, poor Ebob just hit his head too on his way out after he chopped up his arm, his hand out. Timothy and I are going into the dark. You need a really good flashlight. I brought what was supposed to be a good flashlight. And it's not. And, yeah. <gasps> My necklace. But there's like, there's no light after this. Like, it's not like we'll get to a break where there's light. We're inside the earth. <laughs> I walked through that entire cave that we went through recording the entire time in and out. But it's pretty much just a dark video with us talking. So you don't need to see all that. Safe and flat. We're going to turn off our lights. I'm I'm Three, two, one. My light is off. Oh, turning off. Oh my god! Okay, turn off the phone lights. Wow, where are you guys? Let's find our way back okay, now. We're turning it back on. Oh wow. All that, and still have to climb back up this. You need this kind of flashlight for this cave. Just so you know. And you saw I had an adjustable bed. I wanted chicken, so that worked out. Now we're back at our favorite restaurant in Hilo, Ken's House of Pancakes. We almost went to an Italian place, but. I wanted more guava syrup. I got the exact same thing, and so did Emmy, and it's delicious again. Back at the airport in our gas station again. Must be in Hilo. Now we're in the Hilo Walmart, which looks more like our Walmart. Check out no bags unless you want to pay for one, so bring your own bags. Park number four in the quest for all five national parks. Emmy got her fourth grade Every Kid Outdoors pass. Yay. Every fourth grader in America can get this. Right, this the right, the They're in the way. Here's the Kilauea Visitor Center. Phew. These were the ranger talks today. Right there is where you go and they'll tell you where to go. That's also where you turn in your junior angel book. Do not give me any. Wow. Wow. Aren't they cute? Wow. It shows what's underwater. How big it is underwater. Spin. We are not spending four hours or more. Nope. So this is this is us. We're doing the steam boots or the Kilauea overlook and nah. There's some all clean off your shoes. Fill up with rainwater. It's interesting. Got a curvy road through the rainforest for two miles to get to the Thurston Lava Tube. 
uh, the thirst and lava to parking lot. So, but if it's full, you can go to the Iki Overlook parking lot. A journey inside an active volcano. You have been to the tropical rainforest. The tropical rainforest. I do hear sounds of the rainforest. You can hike the Crater Elm Trail. But we're going down the lava tube entrance. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> no horses allowed on this trail. Your duct tape. That's duct all? tape works really well. Ah. I dropped. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, look, another safety sign. Now okay. we're going into the thirst and lava tube. like earlier except safer. <laughs> Duck. Especially you. you know how we oh. Did you hit your head? Oh. Poor mom. She hit her head too. So the whole thirst and lava tubes pretty much look like this. Some puddles on the floor, some smooth rounded edges, but definitely watch out for your Don't head. stay at the edge. What lava used to be here? This rainforest is on top of that lava tube we just went through. We were just right under there. Very frondly. That's so tasty. Now we're going yeah, to the uh, overlook. Yeah, but the half a mile back is down. Alright, it was super up. You push me. And then, flat in a rainforest. A crater. Oh, don't go any further. The lack of guardrails at drop offs concerned me a bit. First glimpse of volcano smoke, not from a helicopter. Don't get close. Yes, I'm glad we didn't stop. No. You see the people walking? Good, good thing. Way to do. On the Look. Smoke. This is like cotton candy. Yeah, what's on the ground? Should two of them play? Yeah. One of them on the ground still with two of them up in the air? As a junior ranger, I will. As a junior ranger, I will. Leave. Steam vent. Oh, this is a steam vent. What? It's yellow stone. It's yellow stone all over again. Emmy hates the smell of the geysers at Yellowstone. Steam. Oh gosh. This is like a hot tub. So wet. <laughs> Look oh at God. how it's making my hair curl. I know. Look at that. We can hike all over the place. These are the vents. Unfortunately, stopping at those steam vents let enough people get past us that we couldn't park up near the volcano overlook. We had to park down in this parking lot and then walk. We just did have up to there. park this far away. Yeah, we almost did. So we parked and now we get to walk. Hike. So you go that way. But she said this one's good too. So if you have to park where we had to park, bring a flashlight. Because you gotta walk. And it's not lit in the dark. And obviously, you wanna be here in the dark. So. Yeah, I see it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Believe me. We flew over that. We did.
Is it erupting oh, more? Is if you. We could hear the eruption from where we were. It was kind of like a rumble, but the people beside us would not stop talking. I bet that lava floor would have looked so cool in the dark. Look at that. We are right there. It's getting better as you come. This is the other path, the dirt path to the right. The other one was the dirt path to the left. It's coming from. So now we that right dirt trail landed us on this paved trail, which is 25 minutes walking at some speed. So from the beginning. From the beginning. So we'll see. Feeling it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> but you can only say that four times. You can only say it when everybody's quiet. That's true. Okay. Then you can do it. Right. You know, like down so there in the skeleton. It's really cool. This is cool. Wow. Poorly dressed for mountain climbing. All of us. But definitely me. So we've met a lot of people. We're walking back on this paved trail. There's these little. That's a little bit of light there. But you definitely would need a flashlight. So we left ours in the car, so we're heading back. Now they're just letting people go up there to park again, where we had to walk like forever. Hawaii has a lot of wild, potentially feral cats. Aww. Well, we made it back. <gasps> That's a giant cockroach! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I made it back from Hilo, the Hilo side and Volcanoes National Park. Hilo side and it's 9.40 oh on the hot tub closes at 10. So we're heading over there. Today was really cool. We saw the lava, that was nifty. Uh, I did Zumba with Emmy. We swam. We went in that cave and poor dad hurt his finger. But he didn't break anything except the skin, so that's good. So that was a pretty good day. That cave was amazing. Yeah. And then we went through a lava too. Yeah. So we did so many cool things today. Yeah. Sadly, only two days left. Two days left. Ooh. But join us as we continue. And until next time, keep, keep roaming. roaming. Mahalo. <laughs> Oh, sweet mercy. Three, you don't feel it. One. <laughs> After like 30 seconds, you're good, dude. It's just cold for a little bit. Then you get numb and you don't feel it.